it's a time to be with your family and because they can't be with their family and they're so separated and they're in a battle situation, I thought that Christmas would be perfect to send that little hug and send that little warmth. My name is Judy Travis and I'm the founder and coordinator of a project here in Wilmington, Delaware called Stockings for Soldiers. Stockings for Soldiers is a community project that the purpose is to make sure that our troops know that they've not been forgotten and we do this by sending them a Christmas stocking. My son went to West Point, graduated the class of 2001 and he was deployed in 03 to 04 and my family and friends and everyone that we knew started to send him packages and he had plenty of stuff for himself but he shared it with all of his fellow soldiers who most of them didn't get anything from home and we realized there's such a need for people who don't get anything from home who don't have a support network don't have parents and when my son came home safe and sound and I realized that other parents were just ready to start their year of anguish that's why we do the project is for those families we send our troops a two gallon Ziploc bag and inside that two gallon Ziploc bag, we put in a stocking. I am part of the West Point Parent Network. I contact them and ask them if they would send me the names of the people in their troops. We put the name on the stocking, write it in glue, and we have special glitterers that, that can make it look nice. And then we let them dry. And in the stocking goes a whole bunch of different items. Nothing spectacular, but just your basic gum and candy and cookies and crackers, a toothbrush and toothpaste. Um, a pair of socks, um, a pen, lip balm, of course, and then next to the stocking in that space, we use every space, we'll put in a paperback book, a package of ramen soup, um, greeting card. Every, every uh, stocking gets a greeting card, so we need 10,000 greeting cards, we need 10,000 ramen soups. This past year, we sent over 10,000 stockings to our troops all with their names on them and all filled. It was over 45,000 pounds of goodies, as we call them. Uh, being able to give them a reminder of Christmas and know that uh, mothers and fathers and sisters and brothers and you know children and were part of putting that together it makes it kind of special. It's from a volunteer who's actually showing that they care and supporting our veterans and supporting our troops. Um, and I think that's one of the most amazing things that we can do because people, I don't think, realize what it's like when somebody's away. We want their families and their support network to know they're not in this alone. They're not the only ones who are worried about their child. We're worried about their child too. I hope they feel that the people who are are in this country appreciate the fact that they are there and that we're sending our love and that they're feeling our love and our appreciation for what they do. Just puts a smile on your face when you get it. It's, it's, it's not dissimilar to the smile that, that uh, kids get when they walk down the stairs and they see if, you know, if you're lucky enough to you know, see, a, see a stocking hanging above your mantle or see a stocking hanging in your house somewhere. It is a special uh, emotional moment to know that you're part of um, the holidays at home in some, some capacity, and that's what's so special about it. We like to send as many silly things as we can, again, to promote smiles and let them know that we're sending them hugs. So in every box, uh, it, to every unit, rather, we'll send antler ears and a Santa hat and an elf hat. That way they can play Santa and give out all the goodies. We, our payment is to, if they can send us a picture of them receiving our stockings with big smiles, that's our payment. We're so glad to see the end result. Some of the letters that you read are just heart-wrenching. You know, the young man who said, people that I don't even know care enough to send me something. And the young man who said uh, his family wasn't going to ha have much for Christmas, so he wasn't going to have anything, but we sent him a stocking. And he was so grateful that he thought he would get nothing for Christmas. There's so many different stories that bring a tear to your eye. And we look at each other and we just kind of say, look at the impact that we have. We're just a, a, a small little community group that started a small little project and we're so grateful that we have a project like this where people can come in and have those feelings and they feel good too.